Welcome to our It's Electra series. In this series, we're going to share with you gear based on and inspired by the Electra distortion circuit. Join us on this journey where we get the most tone out of the least circuit. Today we're looking at an MPC cartridge. This particular one is the Elmo Overdrive by RFO Electronics, and I believe Jeff McCaglia sent it to us. Right. Which is really, really cool because Jeff has taken one of his pedals. So RFO Electronics makes a pedal called the Elmo and built that circuit out to work with the electric guitar, 3D printed a case for it, and so now you can plug it in. It's like, it's like getting a brand new module for a guitar they stopped making modules for in the 80s. Right. Um, and we think that's really cool. And actually, we're talking to Jeff about some other things, too. There's some of the schematics that came out through the series and stuff. I think he's going to be looking at them. I think there's some other... hope I'm not letting any cats out of the bag. But I think there's some other modules that he uh, might be getting into eventually, too. So Jeff's a cool guy. Um, this is the Elmo, Distor Elmo Overdrive. Mm -hmm. And so... How do you want to do this? Do you want to take a... you want to give him a clean tone first? Yeah, let's we'll give him a clean tone... And maybe I might have to give several clean tone references just because this guitar changes so much with this rotary. Okay. So uh, clean tone in position one, which is both pickups in series. Is that true? Of course, I'm, there's a quiz. Yes. So um, just these two knobs, volume tone wide open. Do the Tyler JT-22, Dispatch Master. So I'm going to flip it on, tone all the way up, and the drive all the way up. Uh, let's go with the tone first. Um, the tone's on 10. I'm going to go down to 5. take the drive the zero zero drive no drive on So Jeff sent us for this. He talked about so if you look at the Elmo MPC module, you basically have four controls. You have a level, a tone, a level, a treble, and a bass, and those are on the module itself. There's a little trim pot you can skip, and stick a little tiny screwdriver in and adjust those. Um, and then the knob on the front of the MPC will control the gain of the pedal. So one thing we noticed, this guitar, we, we've been fighting with it a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's inherently kind of dark, um, we think. This particular one, maybe right. yours is different. But this particular one, inherently kind of dark. Um, and so Pat showed it. If you roll the drive all the way off yeah. and you click on, because you have a treble and a bass control on that, module you could brighten the guitar up a little bit yeah it's nothing so we were able to use it to kind of brighten it up a little bit and jeff had some suggestions on there like he mm -hmm. had it set to his preferences and what pickups use it with and that that worked and then we got in there and kind of tinkered with it a little bit more because we kind of feel like our guitar might just be a little darker right. than some of the ones that we've seen or heard mm-hmm um, anything else you want to add? I, mean, I could just jump to the bridge if we want. Okay. The brightest pickup. All right, so now we've gone to the to the bridge. For a bridge pickup, that's still not super bright. So we're going to turn on everything wide open. A 
I'll start by rolling with the tone back about half. <laughs> I think that's where my ear likes this. And then we'll roll the drive down halfway. For, for this guitar that's darker, mm -hmm. after we played around with it a little bit, it took the time to... I think we bumped the treble up a little bit. Um, I don't took think the drive, we, I don't think drive we up a little bit. We didn't play with the bass. No, we didn't touch the bass. Took the level up. Yeah. Took the treble up a little bit. And then we took it back down a little bit. <laughs> and then we took it back down a little bit. So there's plenty in there. I mean, you can make it really, really bright. Um, after we took the time to do that, I, I, I like the fact that this can be used to kind of brighten up some of those pickups and add a little bit of drive. And I like the fact that the drive knob's on the, the drive's on the, the knob. Mm-hmm. So you can make it nice and clean, and then kind of roll it up, get where you want to go. Um, Lightish overdrive? Yeah, that, I mean, you heard it juiced. I mean, it's... And we're pushing it, the Tyler amp is right at the edge of breakup, so it's not a heavy drive. It, it's right. not quite organic or transparent. It's... Somewhere in between yeah, that... It's a medium. If it were a shirt, it would be a medium. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that is the Elmo... Mm -hmm. Overdrive from RFO Electronics. Uh, Jeffrey, thank you so much for sending it over so we can share it with people that are interested in this stuff. Um, and with that. I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard reminding you, no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear, especially if it's named after a Sesame Street character. Mm.